The Center for Early Childhood Education at Eastern Connecticut State University is pleased to announce the results of its 2015 Timpani Toy Study. The annual study looks at how young children in natural preschool settings play with a variety of toys and assesses how different types of toys affect the quality of children's play. Five undergraduate students were responsible for carrying out this year's study. We came up with ten toys in total, trying to balance the different types of play that we included. So some of the toys were designed for dramatic play center. We also had some toys that were more constructive, were meant to be built with. And then we also had a puzzles category. Once the toys were selected, they were brought down, and there's a schedule in like a chart of which toys go to which room. So they're brought dropped off in each room for the week. We videotape the rooms at the same time each day for a 20 minute segment and we observe and write down how many kids are playing. Then later on we would watch that 20 minute segment using a rubric. It's an 11 point rubric and it's a one to five scale, five being the highest, one being the lowest. We would judge the quality of their play. The rubric allowed researchers to rate how each toy affected children's play in four broad categories. We wanted to see how well they were actively engaged with the toy and actively constructing new knowledge. We also looked at whether or not they were solving problems or asking questions. The toy that scored the highest in thinking and learning this year was magnetic wooden blocks. The children really had to manipulate to see like which side was magnetic and which side repelled and to be able to build with them and create something. I'm gonna make something cool. There was so much problem solving. You could see that there was children that were going, oh, um, wait, this one doesn't fit, and knowing enough that they had to flip it over in order for it to come together. I noticed a child spending a lot of time just creating a car, and after doing it and finding just the right fit, he was able to use it as a car. The things that they could come up with were really unique, especially compared to playing with regular wooden blocks. We would look for either really novel uses of the toy, like if they were thinking outside the box and using the toy to do something really different. The toy that scored the highest was the pizza play set. The pizza did really well because we saw children take apart like the different pieces and use them in very different ways. Yeah, I'm making pizza soup. Pizza soup! Children really had the freedom to build the pizza how they wanted. If the foundation of the pizza was, was the cheese, for example, or if they didn't want cheese, or if they only wanted peppers, so they were really able to be creative with it in that sort of open-ended way. They took on different roles. Some people were baking the pizza, some were eating the pizza. I saw one child use an empty bin. They took the bin out and they took the pizza that they had made and they used the wooden pizza stone to put it in there and pretended it was an oven. I observed children inviting others to come and, and have pizza with them and asking them what they wanted on their pizza and how they wanted their pizza. Daniel, try this pizza. No, it's really good. For social interaction, we look for if there's other peers in the area, if they're interacting with them, if they're just playing side by side, if they're ignoring them completely, or if they're really working cooperatively for the same play theme. The toy that scored the highest was a set of four puppets. A big bad wolf comes down my house. Oh dear. What are you what are we going to do? The children who had more experience and who were at a higher developmental level were able to use them talking to each other and taking turns, so we saw some conversations. Have, have a cup with me, but you two will have to get the chair. One room had this large puppet theater, and the children knew about it, so they requested it from the teacher. And as soon as she brought out the puppet theater, the way the children were playing greatly changed. When the puppet theater was introduced, their play was more defined. You can go outside with your friends. There was more of a performance. The language, they used more words. They were able to communicate with the puppets. Where is my sheep friend? I'm right here. We saw some children really work together to come to build one dramatic play scheme and really create a story. Two little hat, cow, and...
For verbalization, we would look for if they were talking at all, making noises. Were they having conversations with peers? And were those conversations reciprocal? Or were they just talking at each other? The toy that scored highest was the wooden cash register. Here's four. With a wooden natural material, it didn't have a lot of the literally bells and whistles that most cash registers have. So it really uh, drew children to communicating. It's your credit card. The cash register really invited children to engage in pretend play. Therefore, it promoted oral language. They had to talk to each other. What does this cost? Four dollars or nine dollars? Nine dollars. It really invites multiple children to play together cooperatively and negotiate different roles. Someone will have to be the clerk and take the money, and someone will have to be the customer and pay for his or her items. This year's study had several interesting findings. One finding was the importance of dramatic play toys in children's learning. Uh, dramatic play toys gave children opportunities for lots of socialization, lots of language, and when children are working together, they have opportunities to learn from each other. Dramatic play is so important because it, it does um, invite children to um, engage with one another, to problem solve. No. There's only a limited number of roles, so being able to negotiate who will be what and when and take turns and wait are really important skills at this age. Can I buy this? Because I'm the visitor. And to be able to pretend you're someone else is very important for children. They, it helps them develop their language and their vocabulary related to that particular role. Another finding from this year's study was the influence of children's background knowledge and the quality of their play. And this study was very clear that background knowledge influenced how children were playing with the toys. Especially with dramatic play schemes, background is, and knowledge is really important because if you don't have that knowledge, you don't know what to say or do with your peers, they need to have the knowledge to be able to play with it. Each year, one toy is identified as the timpani toy based on its overall score and other criteria. The 2015 timpani toy is the wooden cash register. The wooden cash register did well in multiple domains. It did well in creativity and imagination. It did well in social interaction. We also saw both boys and girls playing very well with it. It scored well for children of multiple ethnic and socioeconomic backgrounds. They have a lot of background knowledge about cash registers. Most children have been to a store of some kind, so they are familiar with how to use it and the purpose of a cash register. So some of the language was there, and then with teacher scaffolding and observing, they were able to build on some of the, the language. Working on this study, I really learned a lot about really looking at toys more in depth and thinking about different ways you could play with them and the importance of introducing new toys and the importance of showing kids what they can do with them before you put them right in the center. Being able to critically look at that toy and critically assess a toy. There's a lot of thought that goes into the selection of the toy. There's criteria involved. I might feel a toy is is really engaging and, and excellent for developing fine motor skills and it really depends on the children. For a toy to be successful or useful, you have to look at the child's perspective. Children are generally extremely creative if given the opportunity. There's a lot of experimentation, and they're very, very open-ended. Um, and those are the kind of toys that do well in, or should do well in a preschool classroom because there's so many opportunities for the children to play in different ways. Each child is different. They come with different preferences and different ways that they play. Um, so it is good to to try to mix things up and allow children to experience new toys with more knowledgeable peers that they can model and teach with. I think it's important that teachers really take a good look at the materials they are bringing into the classroom, think about the purpose of the material, um, observe what children do with the materials, and, and sort of use that information to change and impact their environment. 